During the process of building these freestanding shelves, I ran into a process that you often run into in old homes in that these two walls are not square to each other. So what I needed to do is I needed to line this edge of the shelf up with the wall. If we place a square on here, we can see that the shelf runs off from front to back about 3 16 of an inch. And I wanted, of course, this nice straight edge that I have on here. So what I did was I took a caliper and I went down the raw shelf and I measured off on the edge how much I needed to take off in order to get this nice fit. In order to make a perfect cut along my scribed lines, I thought of several different ways to do it. Lay the uh, shelf up against my bandsaw and try to cut along the line. Set my table saw up and adjust the miter gauge to line up with the line. Well, the line wasn't exactly straight. The wall kind of had a little bit of a bow in it. So what I opted to use was this uh, table saw sanding disc, which is available from CMT, and I also have it listed on my website. I had 80 grit paper on one side of the disc and 120 grit paper on the other side of the disc. So I decided to give this a try, and I'll tell you what, it really hogs the wood off. It's tough to see from this snapshot, however, I marked out the spacing of the shelves and then, using a level, I drew a line on which to align the top of the shelf. Using a stud finder, I next located each stud and transferred its position to the shelf support. Holding the support bracket against the wall, I marked the position of each stud. Holes were then drilled in the support with a countersink deep enough to accommodate both the depth and the width of the lag screw with the washer. Structural adhesive was applied to the back of the support. The support was positioned to align to the line. This was almost a mistake. And then nails were shot in to hold it in place. I say this was almost a mistake because I hadn't considered the thickness of the plywood lid which fell above the shelf support and it was tight against my receptacle plates for the power and TV cabling. Fortunately, it just cleared. Next, holes were drilled into the wall studs through the bracket. Without doing this, I would have taken a chance of snapping off one of the leg screws. The wall support was drawn tight to the wall using a ratchet on the screws. When attaching the next shelf, I wised up and used my drill to do most of the tightening and finished up with a ratchet. I used Gorilla Glue to attach the shelf to the support bracket. And remember to always dampen one of the work pieces. A dead blow hammer is used to force it all the way back in place and note that I use a piece of cloth to protect the finish. To finish up, I used a brad nailer across the inside top and the bottom.
I did have one slight issue of the Gorilla Glue expanding down on the wall. I should have masked this off. So that's it. Project is finished and I am very happy with the results. If you have any questions about this project, please don't hesitate to ask and I'm certainly interested in your comments. You make it a great day and thanks for watching.